Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're putting in a grounding system. The two electrodes are gonna be the ground rods and of course the water main. So let's go take a look, show you how it's done. This is the M18 SDS Max drill and I'm gonna be using a uh, six amp hour battery with it and the ground rod attachment driver. Uh, great, great product, makes this job go very easy. Um, years ago when I started out, I should drive these ground rods by hand with a sledgehammer, uh, definitely not fun. So if you can afford to get one of these to do this job, definitely worth the investment. drove that ground rod over here <clears throat> but apparently somebody had driven a ground rod not too long ago and aluminum or copper or copper clad aluminum galvanized ground rods do not deteriorate this has got to be from just maybe 20 years ago so I'm gonna leave that connect just leave my ground rod in place and uh, this connects right to the bonding bridge as required by the code right there see it's painted and then it goes inside to the house. So what we're gonna do is the ground rod wire, grounding electro conductor that we ran, we're gonna run that into the main breaker panel as well, connect it there. Then this ground rod and that ground rod, along with the grounding bridge or the bonding bridge we'll call it, okay? All gets connected back at the main breaker panel. 
and it gets connected to the aluminum grounded electrical conductor we're going to run next to the water pipe to the water main oh well wow. that's pretty cute look at that <laughs> just a regular cover out of GFCI. i doubt that thing even works hopefully it's disconnected but obviously a code violation without a bubble cover and flat out dangerous probably supplies power to the shed over here I know there's power to the shed because there's a light right there. Now, I did a lot of work at this house last summer. It's a close personal friend. And as you see, that light automatically came on because we put an occupancy sensor up in the ceiling right there. So when you come down here, whether or not you turn on the first set of lights or not, when you walk over here to the laundry area, the lights automatically turn on. And of course, they automatically turn off when you vacate the area, which is the real bonus, because a lot of the times both your hands are full, either holding laundry or holding a laundry basket. And so it's nice to be able to just walk in to the laundry room, have your lights turn on automatically. This is the water main. Okay, and as you can see, this is the existing grounding electroconductor. All right, this goes all the way back to the main breaker panel. Except the problem here is the size of this wire, this conductor, that's probably original at the house and all rusted out, as you can see right there. You see that? It's just all rusted out. <clears throat> so we'll get that off of there and then we'll clean up this section of the pipe and get a nice solid connection. And then we'll run a number two aluminum. And that's size for the ground for the that's the size of the grounding electrode for the 200 amp service because we'll be running four aught aluminum service entrance conductors and when we run four amp four aught aluminum conductors for a service we need a number two aluminum <clears throat> grounding electrical conductor to our water main all right so here's here's something else that's going on here so this is our main grounding electrical conductor right here our electrode and what they did was they ran this green wire they did a jump and they did a jump from there on the pipe with a water ground clamp okay and they bonded it this gas piping this yellow cssg i think it's called or cssr anyway so they ran this bonding jumper to here so that the metal piping electrically makes this safe that's what the code calls for So that's not a bad thing, but <clears throat> I don't know. It's required, but the gas piping is already bonded through the equipment grounding conductor of your furnace or your air handler. That's how the gas piping gets bonded. But because this is a new type of gas piping, there's some new regulations for it as well. So that's why that's required.
quarter inch. Thanks for watching this video. This concludes the grounding electrode system installation. This is part one of two of a complete 200 amp service upgrade. Check back soon to see that video. And again, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.